to my channel. This is Sila V. Let's get started and see what the messages are for this amazing new moon at this time, okay? Um, time to set our intentions and all that greatness. All right, moving into a new chapter. Um, if you're interested in a personal reading, my email is below. And um, if you had a personal reading with me already, you know um, that I will connect with your soul, okay? So we are going to move forward, okay? Like I said, like, share, and subscribe. And hit the like button if you're interested in my content. And let's get started, okay? Let's get started. What is the message for my viewers at this time? What do they need to know moving forward here? What do they need to know? What do they need to know moving forward? One, please. For the collective, for my subscribers, for their highest good. For their highest good. Is the message be patient guys okay earth connection okay one more please all right we'll take this one sorrow hmm okay what are you guys worried about? All right. Understanding that with pain, there comes love, right? With pain, there comes recognition. With pain, there comes understanding. All right. I see you guys more so um, focusing on the foundation of a lot of things that you've put your energy towards, like the foundation of where this pain started, the foundation of where all of this came from. I feel like at this time, you guys are, again, understanding that, again, with pain, there comes a lot of gifts, okay? With pain, there comes a better understanding, all right? I feel like moving forward, guys, you guys are starting to understand that I'm not really lost. I really didn't lose anything, okay? Allowing all of this pain to melt away into the earth here. Trusting in the universe, trusting that the universe can solve any situation, okay? I feel like you guys are now connecting with the earth, moving forward here, connecting with the earth, giving back, releasing all worries, releasing all pain, releasing all doubt back into the earth and, and truly believing right that there's love within the universe truly believing that the universe will not let you down all right so i see a lot of you guys really transforming your mind your thoughts your the your way of thinking really right there's no need for me to be sad about this situation all i need to do is believe in the universe all i need to do is believe in god the divine whatever you may believe in but i believe I believe that I haven't lost. I believe that the love is all around me. I believe that I am learning about myself through this pain. I'm learning about love, right? And at this time, I'm embracing love. I will continue on the path of love even when I don't believe that it's around me, right? But I feel like you guys are starting to understand that the universe has been on your side this whole time because I will say that I know a lot of you guys, even though you've been through some things, right? There's definitely this energy of, I feel stronger, I feel wiser, I feel more knowledgeable. I understand how to connect with myself. I understand how to heal myself. Hence, I feel like moving forward, a lot of my Sagis are going to step into a place where you're going to be able to heal others, share your gift with others, those that are in pain around you, whether it's family, friends, you'll be able to guide them, okay? With this new moon, I feel like at this time, you're setting your intentions, right? Creating a deeper connection with the earth here. Believing that your intentions will be heard. Believing that it's not over, right? It's definitely not over, so there's no need to be sad. It goes on. The play goes on. This dream goes on. 
and to not give up on yourself, right? Because I don't feel like the universe is giving up on you. And I feel like a lot of you guys have not been speaking a lot about your pain here and your throat chakra has been shut for a while. Holding back a lot of pain, holding back a lot of sorrow, okay? But the universe has definitely heard your cries. Be patient. Be patient, all right? So let's see what else we have here, okay? But I feel like a lot of my Sagis, you guys are just not giving up, right? It's like I had to go through all of that in order for me to be at this stage in my life, right? I had to go through that. I would have never been this strong if I didn't go through that. I would have never understood my power if I didn't go through that. Okay, what else do we have here for my Sagis? Yeah, and also I'm hearing working on self-esteem, working on doubt, working on just believing, right? Just believing. Believing you are good enough. Believing that you are love. Believing that the most important love is within, internally. Believing the relationship that you have with the universe, the earth, is more powerful than any relationship you could ever have with anyone else. So I feel like it's like I'm going to let all of this pain dissolve. You know? All this pain dissolve. What do we have here? What are the messages? Yeah, fear. Fear of love, right? Fear of this awakening. It's so interesting because I feel like Sagi's moving forward here. There's going to be this energy of, gosh, I need to release. Gosh, I need to let go of the doubt, the pain that took place in the past, right? Some of you guys may have heavy earth in your chart or dealing with someone with earth in your chart. Connected to those that are fearful of love. I've been connecting to people that are fearful, that have been holding me down. Yeah, I've been holding myself down too, but I've been absorbed in other people's energy that was afraid of this new beginning and this new awakening and this new chapter. And they're constantly on my mind. They're constantly bringing me into a place of not believing because they never believed, right? So I'm bringing myself down to some extent. I'm obsessively thinking about why I was hurt so much, why I was neglected. But I'm ready for this awakening. I'm ready for this new love. So I feel like a lot of you guys are stepping into a place. It's like I'm focusing on my career. I'm ready for the abundance. I'm ready for my new chapter in life. I'm not allowing the past to hold me hostage. Right? I feel like that is the most powerful thing that we could do where we could release the past and allow our future to manifest forget the past yeah I learned a lot about it but how do I plan on moving forward and I feel like you're setting your intentions with that now how do I move forward and how do I rise how do I evolve how do I step into that new awakening of love how do I love without fear how do I love without sorrow right how do I remove myself from any sort of low vibrations right and of course it's not going to be a walk in the park right? But I will manifest. I'll manifest and I'll be sure to love deeply myself, of course. So I feel like, again, like I said before, this is a uh, loving myself season, loving my family season, loving the gifts that the universe has blessed me with at this time. Okay? Removing myself from anybody that does not really believe in releasing all right, so I feel like a lot of you guys will, you know, release uh, an energy of fear. It's, it's more so fear. It's more so constantly thinking about how this person hurt me, how my friends hurt me, how my family hurt me, how I can't trust anyone. It's just more so not even indulging in that energy anymore, healing from that and rising 
above that okay so i feel like a lot of you guys will be manifesting about your careers you know things that you thought would not pan out things that you thought maybe wouldn't work out for you specifically ready for a change and the universe has heard your cries it heard it has heard your um manifestations your intentions that you've been setting okay what else do we have for my sagis moving forward yeah and becoming more grounded stepping in that emperor position releasing myself from feeling like i'm trapped in my mind because i've done it for so long okay hiding my pain hiding what i need to work on suppressing you know the pain the hurt the fears so i feel like you're making a decision through manifestations you're making a decision to remove yourself from this energy of sorrow right and stepping into happiness and stepping into love and stepping into abundance right we shall move forward so i feel like you guys are making decisions and not allowing anybody to throw you off not allowing anyone to um shift you from that from those decisions that you're making for yourself and i will say for those that are having trouble definitely start before this energy of this new moon starts kicking in, I think it's best that you start writing out the things that you want to work on, writing out the things that you things that you have trouble um, focusing on or working towards, the things that you may be afraid of, right? Like releasing someone that is afraid to release fear. I am moving forward and I am no longer holding on to someone that is afraid of the love that this universe has blessed us with, right? whether it's an ex, whoever, I'm no longer going to do that because it's draining and it's um, powerless. Powerless, yeah. I mean, it holds a lot of power to some, right? Where you've been stuck in this situation mentally for a long time. But I feel like you guys are making a decision, right? I'm making a decision to move forward. These are my goals and this is what I'm going to do to achieve these goals, okay? Okay. So that is the message. Let's see what else we have. Let me grab another deck. Yeah. Moving forward, right? Getting out of any energy of chaos, tension, things that don't serve me, right? Moving into calmer waters with happiness, with love. With happiness and love. Okay. And I don't know. Let me know if you guys have started feeling this energy already. Um, I know I have. Yeah, I know I have. Okay, so let's see what else, what other messages we have for my thinking man. Okay, so definitely again, focus on your thoughts, redirect your thoughts. Definitely redirect your thoughts, focus on what you want to manifest and not to focus on the things that you are fearful of in, t in terms of um thanking the universe for allowing these intentions to already manifest, right? And we have thinking woman here. Releasing the past, releasing the hurt, releasing things that don't matter any longer. Getting ready to meet your new self, right? Yeah. It's like, what's next? It's such a beautiful energy when you're just so ready to move on and you're so ready to release. And you're not afraid anymore. And the the biggest blessing is to know that I'm here for another day. Like I'm, I'm alive, right? And it doesn't stop here. Like it keeps going another day, right? Tomorrow's another day. Today's another day to work towards happiness and move forward and to release what happened years ago. Learning the lesson and releasing. Goddess of the moon. Focusing on the energy of the moon, focusing on the love that lies deep within us, okay? I feel like you guys are doing that, okay? Definitely doing that. It's like new chapters. I'm ready. I'm ready. What are the messages we have for my Sagis at this time? What are the messages, please? What's the message? What is the message? Thank you guiding children this is for some of you guys okay you are good at helping counseling and healing use your skills to help 
now help children now help adults now help anyone now yeah for some of you guys you're finding your gifts right you're healing your inner child wounds you're connecting again you're loving again removing yourself from this energy of attachment fear and doubt really moving forward okay and i definitely feel like for some of you guys this is something where you know if you may have children your children are you know they're picking up your energy and they're picking up on some of the uh yeah they're picking up on your energy guys so definitely be mindful of that be mindful of that right you have um angels watching you your children are watching you and it's like i'm picking up on your energy of sadness so definitely be mindful of that those that have children that um you may think your children may not be watching you or feeling or picking up on or absorbing your energy and they are to some extent so i feel like because of this this is something that you're going to um you know hold yourself accountable and try to be your best for your not only for yourself but for those that are watching you okay we're teachers at all times okay teachers and students and i feel like whatever happened in the past it was a teaching lesson it was something that you had to go through in order to be the best teacher that you are now i love you guys have an amazing one bye